Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Movie Script channel. I'm your host, Charlie, and today we are going to go over all the new content that is coming out for Netflix for July of 2023. So I'm posting up the list on screen. I've also got a full list in my description and a link to my source. Now, we've got a few decent additions this month, as well as some interesting new content. Some highlights for this month include the Karate Kid and the Rush Hour trilogy. If you've never seen the original Karate Kid, I highly encourage you to do so. It's still holds up and the film has a ton of heart to it. Puss in Boots The Last Wish is an excellent alternative to the new film Elemental, so if you're looking for an animated film that's of good quality, Puss in Boots The Last Wish is the film for you. And finally, let me give a small shout out to the Ranchcom The Sweetest Thing. You've got Cameron Diaz and Christina Applegate who are an absolute riot in this film, and it's the perfect throwback to the old raunchy comedies like Something About Mary. Okay. Now let's get into the big highlights for Netflix for July of 2023. First up is the second half of season three of The Witcher. Now, as you all know, this is the last run for Henry Cavill. It's no wonder that they took season three and they split it up into two parts because they are trying to milk it as it appears that Netflix knows that this movie is going to lose a ton of viewers once Cavill is gone. Now I will say this, I will actually watch the new season with Liam Helmsworth because I have to tell you what I think about it and I will try to be fair. Look, I've watched Spartacus with both the original actor and the replacement when the original actor died of cancer and yeah, the show wasn't as great as with the original actor, but it still was a very good show. So I'm willing to give it a chance and see if it works out, but I'm not very confident at the moment, especially since Henry Cavill has been the one who has tried to keep the series as close to the source material as possible. With him gone, the floodgates are open, unfortunately. Now, Netflix does have a nice chunk of original content out this month, but there's one Netflix original in particular that caught my eye. It's a film called They Clone Tyrone. The film stars John Boyega, Tayona Paris, and Jamie Foxx as a trio that uncovers a government cloning conspiracy and is an homage to black exploitation films. Now this film sounds original, sounds kind of fun. They're going to pay homage to black exploitation. You don't get that too much in films. So I am really looking forward to this. And I'm sure most people are going to want to see this since this is the last film that Jamie Foxx has appeared in since his disappearance. So this is going to be an interesting one. Oh, and special mention for Tom Segura's new comedy special coming out on Netflix on July 4th called Sledgehammer. I don't know if you've ever watched comedies by Tom Segura. He's a bit raunchy, but he is funny. He is in my top five comedians, and I am psyched to see his new stand-up. So that's definitely going to be one to watch as well. Well, there you have it, folks. That's your list of new content for Netflix for July of 2023. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like subscribe and notification button as I've got three more streaming platforms to cover, which is Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO Max. Thank you all once again and have a lovely evening.